Hello beautiful people, I hope you're having an amazing day. You are a star, don't let anybody dim your light. Today we're gonna to go through a what I eat in a day video. Okay, as a vegan, I'm gonna share with you two, two and a half vegan recipes, okay, that may inspire you to eat more plant-based foods. The first one we've got is a vegan duck sandwich. Okay, I haven't tried this before, but I've used this vegan duck and it's absolutely incredible. Can't wait to share this with you. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Then I'm gonna share with you a post-workout smoothie, okay? Slight change up from previous ones. And then for dinner, I'm gonna share with you a bean salsa with corn chip mixed with a bit of kale, okay? Let's get into it. I'm gonna share with you, okay, this awesome recipe, okay? And if you are looking for other recipes as well, you can go check out the a Vegan Meal Planner. It's for free to download at danieljohnallen.com. And there's a comprehensive guide version as well with over almost 20 recipes with shopping list, aka macro guide, reasons to go vegan, how to make the switch, go check it out, link is in the bio. Let's get into it. We're, first we're gonna make is the vegan duck sandwich. Let's go. Okay, so for the bread, we're gonna use spelt and chia wholemeal bread. Okay, this is a lot healthier than your typical white bread, okay? It's a little bit more alkalizing as well. Then as for the roast duck, we're using this one by Plant Asia. You can find this in the Australian supermarkets like Woolworths, okay? And we're gonna use the butter, okay, to toast this or to grill this, okay? I saw some inspiring work on Instagram where they toasted one side with butter and it just added, looked like it added more flavor and texture as well. So we're gonna grill this and then we're gonna toast one side with some butter, but first we're gonna cook the roast vegan duck. This stuff is awesome. You can add some noodles, stir fries, uh, like what we're doing now, we're doing sandwiches. Okay, let's get into it. Also, check out check out the pantry that I just ordered. I was I thought it would be big enough just to fit in there. However, it turned out to be freaking massive. Looks so good, so much more organized that it's created so much more flow in the kitchen. We've got all the spices there plates okay everything for the post-workout your teas okay your protein your supplements things like that so much better so much better so helpful next we're going to need some leafy greens like some parsley coriander spinach rocket we've got some cucumbers as well capsicum some purple cabbage okay lots of nutrients okay lots of vitamin c very very alkalizing help remove mucus Okay, reduce inflammation, all right? While that's cooking, we've got the toast in the oven, okay? What you can do as well is add some spices, okay? I like to add some chili, all right? Bit of cayenne, all right? Maybe some curry powder as well, onion powder, garlic powder, and a bit of soy sauce. What's amazing about that is the flavors are gonna sink into the bread and it's gonna taste so much better. Oh, look at that, it's looking good, it's looking good. Okay, then we're gonna add some hummus onto the butter side, okay, bread. Just gonna smother a little bit. Okay, we're gonna risk it by doing something different here. Have a look at that so far. It looks absolutely incredible. So we've got some hummus, vegan duck, cucumbers, leafy greens, some purple cabbage, and some capsicum with some parsley. We're gonna to top that off with some sesame seeds as well. Okay, that, just for those who love the ASMR, let's get a crunch into it. Okay, here we go. Let's get a bite into it. Have a look at this goodie. Whoo, looks absolutely amazing. Let's get a crunch and test it out. Mm. 
うんうんうんうんうん so good all right I'm gonna get into this we're gonna do a bit of reading do a bit of work and then go for a workout and I'll show you guys the next recipe うん、so good it's fresh okay the softness of the inside with the butter works so well with the crunchiness of the outside of the sandwich the spiciness is good okay with the sauce and the saltiness balance with the hummus absolutely amazing absolutely amazing hello beautiful people hope you're having an amazing day you are a star don't let anyone dim your light so we made it to the park we're doing a six part circuit okay so we're doing push pull legs push pull legs okay we're doing that three rounds we're doing sets of 10. all right let's get straight into it six exercises three rounds no rest in between let's go Alright, ocean dip in now for a peaceful stroll in this beautiful path, okay? I'm going to show you guys the post-workout smoothie and then we'll get straight into the salsa and the guacamole. Let's go! So for the first workout, we have ourselves a smoothie, okay, raspberry smoothie with some coconut water, raspberries, okay, we've got banana in there, dates, hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seed, okay, we've got some pea protein in there as well, and then we topped it up with some coconut clusters, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, buckwheat, and some hemp seeds as well. Very nutritious, very simple, very refreshing especially on a hot summer's day and uh, yeah absolutely love this you can always mix it up with mangoes um, and blueberries things like that and yeah very simple and easy to digest after a workout okay next thing we're gonna make is the salsa mix okay we've got the corn chips non GMO organic okay we don't need no Monsanto bullshit, okay? We don't want anything to fuck with our DNA. And, you know, risk our chances of getting diseases and cancers. So, just laid it up on some baking tray. We've got the oven on medium heat. Then we've also got some kale, okay? We've massaged that with some oil. This helps break down the enzymes. Not the oil, but, or olive oil. But just massaging it down so it's easier to digest. And we're gonna throw that in the oven as well and create some Corn, uh, kale chips. All right, then we're gonna do the salsa. All right, we're gonna use black beans with some bolognese sauce. 
We're also gonna use the veggie gyros. If you watch my videos, you know I'm a big fan of this vegan meat alternative. Then we've also got some corn that we've added some hot water into this bowl. We're gonna to top off the corn chips with some cheese. Okay, dairy free, don't have to be too picky about it. And then we're gonna make the guacamole with some avocados as well. Let's go. All right, we're gonna plate it up now. Let's see how we go. The salsa is nice and ready. The corn chips are crisp, okay? The kale, we've slightly overcooked them because of the oil and temperature. Other than that, the guacamole, really good. We've added a bit of lime, some salt, some pepper, and the corn is looking amazing. Here we go, let's top it up. So we put some cheese on here. Oh my. Look at that. And we're gonna to top it off with a bit more vegan cheese. Woo! That looks incredible, here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Have a look at that. Oh yeah, looks divine. There you have it guys, what I eat in a day as a vegan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know, leave a comment below if you enjoyed it. Let us know which part you enjoyed of this video. And if you're looking for more inspiration, okay, check out the website, danieljohnallen.com. There's a vegan meal planner, that's for free, a comprehensive guide. There's lots of podcast episodes, my coaching services, programs. Go and check it out. I hope you have an incredible day. Before we go, we've got to give it a taste test. All right, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's get a bite in. Mmm. We gotta get one more. As expected. Perfection. Alright anyway, guys, I hope you join the rest of your day. If someone asks you whether you're vaccinated or not, remember. Tell them that it's not your business. <laughs>